What are we doing today, buddy? Pheasant hunting. We're out today on a little bit of uh, just a kind of a training hunt with Bones today. We're on a, when we're working on teaching him, working together as a team. Uh, I'm with Jack, the guy that I actually bought Bones and Poppy from. He's a guide and he's the breeder. I'll grab one, Jack. And uh, we come out here from time to time, get a little bit of coaching from Jack, make sure we're doing things right. Yep, yeah, up. And that's what we're doing today. Just finished our first run with Bones. He did really good. Uh, Jack gave me some good advice. He said I need to be a little bit more firm in some of my whistle commands, and I also need to anticipate what the dog's doing more. So I can't let him get into trouble. I need to distract him before he gets in trouble. Uh, but Bones did great, and now we're gonna go back in. We're gonna see how he does.
Okay, we are all done. We had a really good uh, session here. Bones did really good. He was able to do some good marking, good flushing. Jack said he's got one of the best noses that he's seen, and he's a really good marker. Most of the uh, criticism or work is things I have to work on. Uh, I need to be able to pay more attention to where the dog's going, be a little bit clearer in my calls, and also Jack gave me some good advice with my shot, and I was able to drop a couple pheasants, so that was good. So we had a really good day out here, really good you know, field session. Obviously that we're working with stocked birds here, this isn't a wild, this isn't wild birds, uh, but really good work with the dog. And uh, we'll have some pheasant to eat, which we'll share with you soon. Did you have fun, bud? Yep. What do you think? Um, what did you like? I like seeing all like the pheasants and chuggers and all the guns just going <laughs> pow, pow. <laughs> At some points I would have to like duck down and just hope a dog wouldn't trample on me. Yeah, it was fun. Would you like to do some bird hunting? Yeah. I like it better than deer hunting. <laughs> first. Okay. You want to clip the wing as close to the body as you can get into. Got a wingman over here. So. Same thing with the pheasants. Just want to get in. It's, it's a little tougher. There's a bone notch in the oh, scissors. Nice. So you got to kind of get into that bone notch. Got it. They're safe for a purpose. I'll show you what in a second. Do you ever like cut up when you cut off the rooster head? Do you like? We don't cut off their heads. You'll see what we do next. Go ahead, get all the wings off. All right. So just in there like that, Jack. You get in towards the base of the scissors where the bone notch is, and it cuts right pretty easily. And then leave. No, no, no. Just, just like one of those two roosters. Just okay, those, two those roosters. go to him. Okay. Yeah, he can throw the rest of them away. All right. Have you ever mounted a pheasant? I do. I have a couple of mounts at home. The problem with pheasant mounts is that they Dumb get ones here? ratty looking. Yeah, just throw them there. Ratty looking. The, the feathers start to get dusty and dirty and frayed and... Boy, these are great, these yeah, shears. Chuckers, yeah, chuckers, yeah. Those are I, those are just sharp and not too long ago, so... They're cut pretty good right now. Pheasants won't be quite as easy. <laughs> Better to cut close. Okay, we're just pheasants now. Yeah. So now... You feel like... Right down. Have you ever, like, paint up the rooster's wings, wings for, like, decoration? Nah. Next step, get the bird. You want to get in at the base of the legs. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull so that the skin separates. Yep. But all you're trying to do is expose the breast. Okay. Leave all the rest of the feathers and everything else attached to the carcass. Okay. Grab the point. Pull back until you feel it snap. Okay. One finger in there, one finger in there. Perfect. Wow, look at right that. Out. That was great. <laughs> well, and a pheasant, the legs aren't fit to eat. Yeah. So they just go with the breast. Yeah, and just all you good. save is the breast. Yeah. Chuckers will do the same way. Same thing. All right, I'll try one, Jack. All right, so we're at the right. base. Yeah. And you, you're. See, yeah, and that's all you Basic idea. Yeah. Right. You just, just want the like skin that. to split and then just push the skin back off the breast. Like that. Down about down both sides. Okay. Grab the point. Pull it up. And you pull it back till you feel it kind of like crack. There you go. There. And now pick it up. One finger in the top there. Top and pull it pull towards it right me out. like that. Yeah. Just this should pull right out. Wow. Boy, that was great. Chuckers are easier. That is...
Ready? Take it down by the base of the legs and pull it apart. Okay? Down in and pull till it splits. See that? You got it there. Now pull the skin back, okay? All at once, you kind of slide the skin down over. Alright. See that? Mm -hmm. Just like that. Alright. And now, right there, pull this up, bud. No thanks. Pull it till it cracks. You can get it. Ready? I'll help you. Right there. There you go. A little different than the turkey we did last year. We raised a turkey on the farm, Jack. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I just rinse the extra feathers off. They're feathers that we didn't, you know, no matter how careful you are out there, some feathers get through. And when do you check for any, like, BBs and all that stuff? When you cook, when you're processing them to cook them. So then you just kind of feel around, follow the trail well, of the holes? Typically, holes. you're going to cut them off of, you're going you're gonna to fillet the meat off of these bones. So Got it. that's when you'll find that. Um, Make, like, nuggets out of them? Oh, okay. And I'm looking to see if there's any... Try to find one with a pellet hole. A pellet hole. So when you see a pellet hole like that, yep. sometimes you can chase the feathers, take the feathers out. That one, they're not, they're oh, already pulled okay. out on that one. There's a pellet hole right there. So find the center keel. On the other side of it, yep. It is not smelling good in here. That one we left a little too much wing on. Okay, that was me, right? That's it? Yep. So the goal is to get rid of that yeah, before you're here. If you here. get rid of that, then you, it makes the, this part much easier. Much easier. Oh. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. Well, why do he save those wings? So that he can fan off feathers. <laughs> Use them as a brush. Nothing works better. Just put them on a small stick. Then you have your own <laughs> brush. That was an awesome hunt we had. It isn't the only bird hunting we've done this season. Behind me you see a couple roosters that I've been aging. As you can tell from this video, the filming of bird hunting is a bit of a challenge, but we're getting better at it. Unfortunately, when we went on to public land, uh, that hunt was on some private land. Uh, when we went on to public land and got these roosters, I didn't get any footage of it that actually was usable. So we're going to keep getting better at filming our bird hunts. We'll use more GoPros and I got a shoulder mount. Things will get better. So if you're interested in more bird hunting, we'll do better at capturing that experience on camera. In the next video, what I'm about to do, I'm going to take these birds. These have been aging. I've had these birds hanging almost a week and ready for this. They haven't been gutted. That's right. Sounds gross, doesn't it? Pheasants. Shot a week ago, not gutted, nothing. In the next video, we're gonna talk about why I would do that, why am I butchering a bird that's a week old that hasn't even been gutted. We're also going to show you a brand new spot on this farm that you have not seen before. You two are pretty loud over there, you pups. So if you wanna take a tour of a really cool space that you've not yet really seen on this property, uh, make sure to check in tomorrow morning. That's when we're releasing our videos now, in the morning, first thing in the morning. That video will be up and you'll get to help me figure out how to use this space. The other thing we're gonna show in that video, uh, I've been aging these birds. I'm going to prepare at least one of them as a whole roaster bird. For those of you who like to try to use more than just the breast, we're gonna show you how to do that in the next video. Jack is a hunting guide. He demonstrated in this video how to process a bird like a guide. Uh, guides need to clean the birds quick and get that meat off to the family, the legs or the wings. There's not a whole lot you can do to make them really, really good. The breast is the best usable part of the, of the bird, but I do like to, on occasion, take a whole bird and do a whole roaster bird and try to use as much of the bird as possible. Uh, 
Also, I like the presentation of a whole roaster bird. So in the next video, you're gonna see we're gonna be doing a whole roaster bird, a brand new space on the farm, and I'm gonna ask for some input on how to use this space. So make sure to check in tomorrow morning for that video, and I got a lot of work ahead of me, so we're gonna shut this one down. See you in tomorrow's video. Would you be interested in a homesteady bird hunting meetup? Go to the same farm, do some bird hunting, learn how to process them hands-on, spend some time with Bones and Poppy, and even take some meat home to your family. If you'd be interested in that sort of thing, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see if I can put something together with Jack. It'd be a lot of fun and a cool way for us homesteady people to get together in Western PA.